Policing Oversight Authority, IPOA, has deployed a rapid response team to Kajiado County, where renowned Pakistani journalist Arshad Sharif was shot dead by police manning a roadblock along the Nairobi Magadi Road last night. Under unclear circumstances, police claimed the shooting was a case of mistaken identity. A few questions that may require further. In a press conference held in Nairobi addressing its actions against extrajudicial killings alleged to have been committed by police officers, IPOA chairperson Anne McCurry has said that a rapid response team has been deployed to Kweni area of Kajado County to investigate the mysterious killing of Pakistani journalist Ashad Sharif. There is a alleged police killing of a Pakistani national at Tinga Market, Kajado County, last evening. Our rapid response team has already been dispatched uh, to look at that matter. Uh, the name of that Pakistani national is Arshad Mohammed Sharif, aged 50, who um, incident happened on 23rd, 10, 2022 at 22 hours. According to the sleuths privy to the investigation surrounding the killing, the GSU police officers sprayed the car he was traveling in with his brother, Kuram Ahmed, with bullets after they were flagged at a roadblock but defied to stop. The police claim it was a mistaken identity after they were on a high alert. They were on a high alert search after a case of a reported child kidnapping. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there were cars down there. Uh, these guys were coming from a range where they had gone to meet their, their colleagues from Pakistan. They have a range somewhere there. Uh, but uh, when they were stopped by the GOSU officers, they did not, they did not, they did not adhere or they did not accept the, they did not uh, accept the, the signal from the police officer to stop and made them to drive through. And when they dropped through, it prompted the GSU officers to act because it was uh, so clear that these guys saw the officers and they were in uniform, but they decided to bypass. That prompted the GSU officers to react. And that's how one of the occupants of the, that particular vehicle was fatally injured. 50-year-old Ashad Sharif was a vocal critic of the present Pakistani government and fled the country earlier this year after sedition charges were filed against him. Sharif had worked in several media houses in the country and had won several awards. At the time of his death, he was working on an investigative documentary titled Behind Closed Doors. His death has left shockwave across Pakistani and the world at large. His wife, Javeria Sadiq, took to Twitter to mourn her husband saying she had lost a friend, a husband, and a favorite journalist. Pakistani Prime Minister Shebez Sharif has made a phone call to President William Ruto, urging him to fast track the investigation on Ashad's death and the process of repatriating the remains of the slain journalist back to Pakistani. Edwin John Mokora, Lookup TV.